Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I attempted to put some makeup on my face since I haven't had any on for a while. And uh, it, it didn't work so well because not much is covering up the... <laughs> whatever I got going on underneath the makeup. But you know what? It's alright. I don't mind. So today, I have a Sephora play. Plus two. Plus three. Plus four. <laughs> Plus five. <laughs> Plus six? I know. Oh, hello, Baxi. Um, <clears throat> they were $9 each, plus I got the 20% off. And... Yeah. <laughs> I kind of ordered a bunch of, like, one. Well, I should say that there was one item in, like, three different boxes, I think, that they had in stock that I really wanted, and I didn't mind whatever else was in it. And there were a couple of they had a bunch, and I was like, yeah, I don't know. So I, I just got six. I mean, it's not a lot or anything, right? You know? Sort of? Kind of? Well, before I get into this, can I tell you guys a quick story? <laughs> I almost feel like I was that was a little intimidating. Um, <laughs> story's not, well, story's interesting. I'm not sure what it is, but I've noticed this thing, that when, when people pass away, um, everyone, <laughs> everyone brings them food. Um, I have enough food, I, I think, in my freezer currently um, to probably feed a homeless population, which I, I, I could do that, but I get it. It's just so funny when you think about it. It's like someone passes away. Quick, let's send them food. <laughs> I, just, I needed to like laugh about something. I needed some humor, and that just like occurred to me. It's like... I don't know, do they think that feeding us is somehow going to make it better? I actually know why people feed us, and let me tell you, I am so grateful because the last few days have been so very, very stressful, and when you come home after dealing with everything, you don't want to think about cooking. So the fact that so many people have graciously sent me food and my family food, I just take it out and I pop it in the oven or whatever. And, and I have a meal, and though I made a joke out of it, it's still like a funny thought when, when you think about it. It's just like, you know, I don't know. As I said, I needed to find some humor in something, so that's what I did. Now let's get into these and see what goodies I got. I mean, just think about it. $9, they had them on sale. They're normally $10. These, if anybody doesn't know, these are the Play subscriptions that Sephora sends out that are normally $10. And by the way, have you seen that all these subscriptions are now raising their prices to $12? i am going to be very curious to see if Sephora is going to jump on that bandwagon too. So they're normally $10. Now I guess like these are leftover boxes because maybe people canceled or they ordered too many or whatever the case may be. And it's like Fort Knox getting into them. But nonetheless, they had them on sale during the VIB Rouge, whatever you want to call it, summer sale. They had them on sale for nine. And I got the 20% off of that. So it's a pretty good deal considering what you're getting in it and the price that you're paying. So, of course, they're going to give you this good old thingy here, which is going to tell you what is in it. And this time I'm going to look because it's not my regular subscription. And I kind of just want to go over all the things that are in it. Now, the one that I'm going to, when I get to the item, I'll tell you why I got the box that I did. So, these are the red ones, and it's pretty stuffed. So, they had like three boxes that had the Coco, Caba Coco Cabana Cream. A lot of people don't like this. I I happen to like it. And I'm sweaty, so I can't open it. Of course, it doesn't want to open. Well, we're, we're just going to put that to the side at the moment since yours truly can't open that. But if you don't know, that is from Sol de Janeiro. I said it's the Coco Cabana Cream. And some people says it smells like butter popcorn. It sort of kind of does. But still, when you have it, when I have it on my body personally, I really like the scent. So I think this is probably at least worth five bucks maybe. So I'm happy about that. The next thing is from Victor and Rolf. It is the Magic Salty Flower. Never had a salty flower. This is one I don't think I've actually tried. Ooh. Now you guys know that I'm not a big floral person. But this is um a little different. 
I'm just going to sit here and smell my arm all day. All, all day? All day. All day. You kind of like it. Okay. The next thing is, oh, this I'm happy about. You know, I was so concentrated on the Coco Cabana cream that I didn't even realize this. This is from Moroccan Oil, which I really do happen to like. It is a protect and prevent spray. Yay. It's a baby size, but look at the cute little box it comes in. I just want to see what it's for. A leave-in conditioning spray that cares for and protects, protects strands from pollution. Super cool. This will work like on, you know, one shampoo after my hair. Shampoo after my hair? <laughs> I think you know what I meant. The next thing is look at the little baby bottle. It's from Rainforest of the Sea. I'm hoping it's their cleansing oil. It is their Deep Dive Makeup Removing Oil Cleanser. Yay! I do love this stuff. Normally it comes in a big thingy, jar type, you know, whatever. And it has a pump on it, which makes it convenient and easy and non-messy, which is what I like. And I can't open anything today. So it's just one of these little baby ones. I don't remember if it had a scent and it doesn't. But this will last me a decent amount of time because you really don't need a lot of it. That one container usually lasts me quite a while. The odds of me getting lipstick on my teeth today, I'm saying are probably 75%. So um, yeah, how about somebody take like notes and see when it actually happens. Okay, so the next thing is a, it's called Rider Chai. That's funny. It's a Bite Beauty lipstick. And these are very good. I don't know if I have this color. It's in the color Chai. It's a beautiful color, but I don't want to swatch it yet, just in case I happen to have it. And that way, one of you guys can try it. Their packaging is so adorable. It's got that matte packaging that I really enjoy. And so, yes, yeah, so, I mean, this is like a perfect bag for me. I should have actually bought, like, two of these, to be honest with you. Ooh, and look, I just got myself. Now, this is the funniest thing. Now, this came in a box that I paid less than $9 for. So you figure $1.80, because um, it's uh, $0.90, $1.80. So I paid $8.80 for this box, right? Right? No. Guys, I've been going on about two hours of sleep a night, and it wasn't restful sleep for the past, oh, week or so. Uh, so my brain doesn't work. I got this. This is the uh, Lancome Sills Booster Primer as a 100-point perk, which is essentially like you have to spend like $100 if you're just a VIP member, whatever. So to get it in this box and not have to spend 100 points on it is super. That was a fabulous box. Like, why can't like these be my boxes all the time? You know what I mean? Okay, let's move on to the second one. That one I'm thrilled with. And, you know, I'm not going to be upset with any of them because whatever I don't use, I'm either going to give to somebody or I'm, of course, going to put them in a giveaway. So, and don't forget, guys, coming up very soon, once I can actually wrap my brain around a few things, I'm going to be having uh, a surprise giveaway in one of my videos. And what month was this from, anyway? Sometimes they tell you, like, easily, and sometimes they don't. I don't know, it was around National Best Friends Day. When the heck was that? This expired June 30th, so maybe May? I think they give you like an actual, ex yeah, an actual, okay. I think they give you an extra month to use it, so that might have been May. This one, I know, because I got the little kitty. I did actually receive this. I remember this, at least. Uh, what month was it? Can you put it somewhere easy for me to read? Beauty in Bloom has to be something spring related. So if this expired April 30th, then this was March's box. So let's see what I got. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Urban Decay Primer Potion. This stuff, although I think it's very good, only one color worked on me, and that was Sin, I believe. Let's see. Oh, this is the original. The original just kind of looks cakey and crepey on my eyes, so I am going to put this into a giveaway. I think it works better, honestly, for younger eyelids because it can be a little bit drying, so one of you guys will like this. Okay, so let's move on. And by the way, in case someone is curious, I'm currently testing out the Makeup Revolution and Roxasaurus palette. 
and I have some initial thoughts. I've only used four colors, so I am still in the testing phase. I don't want to, I'll do some looks with it maybe, but I'm not going to give you my thoughts or review on it, just my initial thoughts. Some colors were a little tricky to use, at least the ones that I used, but I will continue to play with it and do looks and then I will give you my final thoughts. Let me know if you guys have that palette. It's a very, very colorful palette with some very bright mattes, which are hard to do. So let me know. Okay. I did get more black opium. I love black opium. I didn't like it at first. I really like black opium. So this one makes me so happy because it's very hard for me to go out and spend the money on this perfume because of its price tag. So if I can please keep getting these samples for thank you, that would be fabulous. Okay, I did get a dry bar triple sec dry shampoo, which you know exactly where this is going, but let me warn you, whomever gets this, there's this much product in here. Because I looked at the ounces and compared to the regular dry shampoos that we get, I think this is about a third. So you're gonna get like four squirts out of this and it feels so light, it's like a ping pong ball. You could play some like, you know, table tennis with it. But I'm still not complaining. Okay, the next thing that I did get was the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And I did receive this in my personal bag several times. This is really good. It's very silicone-y, so it's not a sunscreen that's going to feel like really heavy. It goes on the skin nicely and it has the texture of a primer. And I just like it and it works well under makeup as well. Works well as well. My English is going to be like just yeah grammar no not today <laughs> grammar's on vacation so if you guys have this or you were thinking about trying it or were curious i can tell you that i like this very much okay so the next thing is from chlorine and this is the what are you it's in french waterproof eye makeup remover now i haven't tried this Chlor um chloron chlorine i think it is chloron i'm not sure I don't have my phone to check because you know I would look it up to find the proper pronunciation. I'm pretty sure it's Chloron from when I researched it last time. Hopefully I'll be able to give you an update. They're very expensive. Let's just put it out there. Usually the things that we can't pronounce very well are the expensive stuff. You know me and if you know me, I make removers. I'm, I'm very particular about it. it. It has to work really well. So I'm very happy to try this. This is a really good size. I mean, you're not going to use the whole bottle on your eyes. And it is one of the ones that you do have to shake up and mix. And I like that. It's like, you know, oil and water. And, you know, simple things. And the last thing is Ooh from NARS. And I see it on here. And I've never tried their liquid lipsticks. They call them the Power Mats. And from what I'm looking at on the paper, if that's the color that I got, I think it's pretty. The packaging. Noise in their packaging. I'm a sucker for it, I gotta tell you. Let's see if it smells good. Oh, it does. And I think, oh, it's very liquidy, which means it's like almost like a stain. You know I'm gonna try this on, right? I gotta. I may change my lipstick 12 times, but I gotta try this on. And let's see what color they gave me. It's an American woman. Who loves that song? Let's see. Do not expect a perfected application at all. Okay, perfected application it is not, but I have a few things to say about this. It's definitely like a stain. It reminds me of the YSL lip stain that I have, that I love, that I only have samples of because I refuse to pay that amount for a full-size lipstick. But I love the way this went on. The interesting thing, though, is the applicator is very, very stiff. It is almost feels like a fuzzy covered stick. That is the best way that I can explain it. It's not flexible in the least. And I think that is because it is so liquidy and that it needs to go on in a certain way. So I think the stiff applicator, although slightly uncomfortable, I think it gives you a more precise application than say a bendy wand. At least it is fuzzy though. It's fuzzy tipped. I like fuzzy tipped, you know? So again, I liked, because there's five things, I'm going to say I liked 
80% because I don't like the dry shampoo, but 80% of just a grab bag thing that wasn't curated for me, still fabulous. Still doing better than the ones that are curated, supposedly, for me. I will let you know how much this dries down. It did get on my teeth, I guess, from first application, but we'll see how it dries down. Okay, let's move on to box number three. Let's see what month this is from. I think this is from the same one as before. This is another May box. All right, so let's see what the first thing is. Oh, oh, okay. Now this is interesting because I got another Definisils, but it was not in this plastic baggie that comes with the little thingy because they have to tell you what the ingredients are by law. So technically my other one should have come in this. I don't really care. Just let you know what the law says. So, okay, good. Now I have two of them, three of them to try. Again, I am going to do that comparison between my L'Oreal and I have the white one, which I'm wearing now because I finished up another pink one. I'm going to do that comparison side by side. And I also have a good girl from uh, Carolina Herrera. I don't know if I've tried this one, but it's the one in that crazy stiletto shoe, which is a little freaky, but let's see. Hmm, this one's interesting. It's a little fruity. Oh, I wanna see what the notes are of this. It's in a floral fragrance family, but it's a fruity one. So it says tuberose, jasmine, and tonka bean is the base note. I've never smelled tonka bean before. I've had Tonka Trucks before, but not Tonka Bean. I'm liking it. Uh, you know, I always associated florals with like that old time, just like rose scented one. So I'm kind of being opened up a little bit to more floral fragrances. And yes, so I have another one of this. See, now this one opens like a dream. I can get the other one open. Oh, I'm going to smell interesting, aren't I? Movie butter popcorn, but I like it. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to smell like tonight. I'm going to go downstairs and my mother's going to go, who made popcorn? Funny, the initial smell dissipates slightly, and I, I don't know, I'm addicted to this stuff. But I won't go out and spend the money on it. Let's see what else. So this is from DP Hue. Please let this be sealed. Thank goodness it didn't leak all over the bag because this was open. This is the apple cider vinegar hair rinse. You know, I never tried. I have a full one of these that I got and I think a FabFitFun. And I never tried it because I was always afraid of what it was going to do to my hair. I'm going to have to research it because I don't know. Is this going to strip my color? Is this damaging for curly hair? I have to research it some. If I find that it doesn't work for me, I don't know if I can ship something like this, but I'll figure out what to do with it. Still not mad at it. Okay, so I got another bite lipstick, but what color is this one? Oh, you know what? This one is chai also, so this one is definitely going up here, which will then go into my little giveaway pile. So there you go. There's another thing. This is from Kula. They also make except for that spray. Very good sunscreen products. This is the mineral. I like mineral sunscreens, although they do often give flashback, but okay, flashback, protect your skin. Flashback, no wrinkles, no cancer. You know how it is. So this is the sun, sun, sun silk sunscreen. They tried to get me. Happy about this? That is an excellent box number three. Moving on. How long is this video going to be? I wonder if this is like the most boxes anyone's ever opened on a channel before. Maybe I can set a record. All right, so I believe this one is another repeat month. Uh, yeah, same month, but let's see if there are different products. <laughs> I really did order this specifically for these. Just saying. Ooh, there was something just hanging out in here. And this is a little teeny tiny. This looks like something extra though, maybe? I don't know, this was in here. This is a Primera Alpine Berry Water Cream. I just received this in something else, but this wasn't in the bag, this was outside of the bag. So that's interesting. Now it's not even included as one of the products. So did I get something a little bit extra? Woohoo. 
Okay, so we also got an Amica product. So good of them to put it in this. Oh, and this is their detangling primer. I love uh, Amica and I love detangling sprays because this is a lot of fur that I have here that, that can use some detangling. Okay, good. I got another sample of the Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. I used up the other sample, but honestly, I couldn't give you an accurate indication of what I really thought about it. I will give you an ingredient breakdown, which I think the ingredients were pretty decent. I don't know if it really did anything because this is a very teeny tiny sample of it, but I'm going to try it again and see if it works more. Another chai lipstick right into a giveaway pile. Oh, okay. And this time I got a Smashbox liquid lipstick and this one is in the color Stepping Out. I think I actually have this, so I'm not going to open this just in case I do. Again, so because I don't want doubles of the same lipstick, I would rather one of you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to put this aside just to let me make sure that I don't have it. And the last thing is from Magari, and it's Omnia. And I'm pretty sure I do like this. <laughs> let me just, let me layer on another scent. Okay, now the swatch that I put on my hand of this, it hasn't dried down completely. Granted, I put it on a little thick, but you can see that it is not smudge proof. So I'm going to be very curious to see how this holds up. Let me look in the mirror and see if it's on my teeth. Let's try a test kiss proof thingy here. Okay, it came off of my hand just a little bit. For some reason, this didn't work well as far as smudging but yet it didn't come off very well, so I don't, I don't know. Let me spray this. I have a Bulgari perfume, and it was given to me as a gift, and I'm just like kind of on the, kind of on the fence about it, so I'll be curious to give this a shot. Let me read the notes on this one. They say it's in a fresh family. I would definitely say that. So the uh, top note is bamboo, the middle note is lotus flower, and the base note is balsa wood. It doesn't have a, it has a slightly woodsy undertone to it. Hmm. I, I'm telling you, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone. Box number four down. This is so much fun. Same month, one same product. Guess what? Guess what it is? <laughs> I basically have an entire tub now. Do you see why I ordered that? You can't beat the price of getting these because I now have like, how many ounces of these are the, are the, uh, whoa, <laughs> hold on. I can't see the ounces. I'm going to put the total amount that I get compared to say uh, the, one of the bigger jars because I guarantee you I've got enough for a bigger jar. Okay, so that's the one product. And again, now see, I have another one of these so I can use this consistently back to back and I can let you know maybe if I can let spread this out over a month, I can give you guys a more accurate review of if it did anything for my skin. So yay. I have another of the Victor and Rolf uh, Salty Flower, which, you know what, I'm going to add this one to part of a giveaway. What I like to do with the samples is just put them in like one of my Ipsy bags and include it in a giveaway. So another Bad Girl Bang Mascara, which um, I gave away the last two. Maybe I'll hold on to this one. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I have another Matte About You Smashbox lipstick. So again, if I don't have it, it's definitely going to be going into the giveaway. And the last thing I have is, I've received this before. I went through it very quickly. It's the Alterna Caviar Anti-Aging, the Bond Repair. It's a leave-in heat protection spray. This stuff from Alterna, I don't know if you've ever tried it. Again, it's one of those absurdly expensive brands that you, you don't want to buy, but you do love. So I'm going to be blow-drying my hair soon again. Yay me. And I'll be happy to use that. Last box. So sad I'm on my last box. I should have ordered like, you know, 20 of them. <laughs> okay, this is a different one. Oh, this was the Sephora Bingo. This was cute. When I actually like read, read them all and took the time, it was kind of adorable. So this is April's box, I believe, because it expires the end of May. So let's see what this one gave us. And this is a pretty 
that pretty pinky bag, that almost neon colored one. Okay, ooh, we got the Youth to the People Fungi Front Runner. <laughs> it's what they described it as. Yeah. This is the Adaptogen Deep Moisture Cream, which, if my memory serves me correctly, I think it's a pretty good product and a pretty tiny product. The box is so super deceiving. There are certain Youth to the People products that I really, really enjoy. First of all, I love their recycled packaging, and it is recyclable, so I definitely do that. But I think I'm going to like that one a lot. Okay, the next thing I did get is the Universal <laughs> Brow Power from It Cosmetics. I really like this one a lot. I have several open, but, you know, luckily they don't go bad. It's a really cute packaging. I enjoy it. Oh, who's seen Fenty's Bariana, her new brow product with that really interesting, like, brush on the end? I want to try her brow, brow, <laughs> brow product just to try out that spoolie. All right, the next thing that I have here is, again, I think I received this really pretty packaging. From Dr. Dennis Gross, it is their Hyaluronic Marine Do-It-Right Eye Gel. Did I receive this? I don't know, but it's an eye gel, and I really am happy about that. There again, there are certain ones that are fabulous for their ingredients from his brand, and certain ones that are like, eh, no. Okay, another Clinique, and um, which one is this? High Impact Mascara in Black. I do like this. Again, to me, no mascaras are truly miraculous. Um, but I do like it. It goes along well with the, you know, liner that I really like. Okay, the next one here is from Peter Thomas Roth. It is their Cucumber Gel Mask. I like this one. It is that jelly type texture. It smells heavenly and it is very lightweight. It's not one that's going to dry down or anything like that. It just feels good. I like these in the morning because they're cooling and they feel great on the skin. You wash it off. You don't have to leave it on super long. It's a really, really good mask. I like it. And the last thing that I got was a at least it's a one for good face wash, you know, not a half a one. But it's a take the day off cleansing balm, which I do very much enjoy. So I'm not upset about that. I mean, overall, guys, for what? I mean, first of all, if I even if I paid $10 for these, I would have been super happy with everything. But the fact that I paid there and sell for $9, which they are still, I'm hoping hoping to get this video up ASAP so that you guys can grab them if you see things that you like and what I got. So I'm so happy with everything. But can we talk about one thing? Sephora and their samples. You know, not for nothing Sephora, but I spend thousands of dollars in your store. You cut your three samples down to two. And in this order, I picked two samples. You gave me one. From my several thousand dollars a year, do you think maybe you could possibly give me, like, at least the two that I'm supposed to get? It's not a big deal, but you know when you got that a little annoyance. So you got this miniature, minuscule, teeniest, tiniest little bit of the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I really enjoy this primer. It is a lovely primer. It is a fabulous primer. It is a $50 primer which is why I just want these and I don't want to go out and buy them. So, you know, if I could have gotten that in the other sample that I really wanted, would have been nice, but no. But anyway, I want to thank you guys so very much for hanging out with me, uplifting me. Your words, your comments, your condolences, your prayers, all of the things that you've communicated to me just in your comments. I actually feel them. I feel, I feel loved when this last week or so, I felt so alone, so, so alone in a room full of people. I felt alone. You know, I'm, I'm never gonna, it's never gonna be okay. People say time heals. No, it doesn't. People say it'll get better. No, it, it won't. It's not gonna get better. It's going to get 
different. Will I cry 20 times a day? No. Those crying moments will lessen. The hole in my heart will never leave. The pain will never truly dissipate. But I'm going to find a place for it with the other pain from losing my other sister. And those two holes will get together and bond. You know, I make light of it because if I don't, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to feel more, lo more lost. And, you know, I don't know how I'm going to get through this. I really, I don't. I can say, you know, I have to be strong and I have to do this and I have to get through it. And sometimes when I wake up, I can't. And I have to force myself to get out of bed. And I have to force myself to just, you know, put some food in my mouth. I'm hoping sleep will come. <laughs> I'm hoping it will. But um, the one thing that is keeping me going is the love that I do feel from all of you and from the people in my physical life because I can't reach out and touch you and hug you. I wish it could because you've been more supportive to me than some other people in my life and I do have to let you know that it it means it means everything to me and sitting down to do this when I want to crawl into bed and not do anything this kind of keeps me going and you know I have to say my sister never watched any of my videos but she did support me. Makeup wasn't her thing. She could not be bothered. She's like, I want my extra sleep. I don't care about makeup. And that was cool. We bonded over so many other things that I didn't mind. So she never watched my videos, but she did tell me that she was proud of me. And those words will remain in my brain, in her voice, in my heart, forever. So. Remember, my friends, that whatever part of the world you were in, on, and around, I have hope you have the most blessed day and the most blessed week. And I just hope it is fabulous and that you are not suffering and that you do not have heartache right now. And, and if you do, know that I'm with you. And again, thank you, my friends, and I'll see you once again because I will keep doing this very soon. Much love, everybody.